Uh, so Desmond, can you share with us now, how has it been, you know, trying to go about walkabouts and house visits in Aokang? Uh, well, it's, about, it's a lot about hard work and it's a lot about empathy. But there's also a lot about delivering results to my residents. Um, I think so far we've delivered three schemes in two and a half months. We've gotten a lot of positive vibes from the uh, residents. Uh, but that said, we are the firm underdog, so I still need my supporters to come together and, and, and let us secure the future together. Because we think that we represent the best future that Hakan can give. So how would you compare yourself with like, the current MP, Lo Tia Kiang? I think we are very different, um, both in terms of age, uh, both in terms of uh, the way we approach uh, service to the residents. But I think both of us, one thing that is similar is that we believe very much in serving the people. But of course, for me, I represent a younger generation. Uh, I believe in doing things fast. I believe in doing things that really assist the residents um, quickly when we can. So you have seen that our, we let our track record speak for itself. Uh, but importantly, I think what I represent is Hao Kang's future, that I can be around to serve them for a longer period of time, and I can be there to see through longer-term projects. So I think I hope that this is a future that uh, residents will appreciate and that they will support. How did you feel, you know, when you were sort of posted to an opposition ward, you know, which has been around for like 20 years? No hesitation. Uh, the reason why I joined Grassroots has always been to serve the people. So when they said that, okay, we would like to serve in Hokan, I said, why not? Um, it is about helping the people, tackling the challenges. I think Hokang, there are a lot more challenges than where I was, previously Marsling and Tampanese. Uh, it has definitely tested me very thoroughly. And after these two and a half months, I really think that I can do a good job. And uh, it, it makes me more confident. But that said, I still got a lot more ground to cover. And I hope the residents can give me the support. So how is it different, you know, like working maybe in a GRC versus a single seat now where you have to fend for yourself? Um, I think um, the key thing to think about it is that the PAP work as a team. That whether they're GRCs or SMCs, we always work together. So I always will consult my uh, senior uh, par uh, party veterans. Hey, how should I go about this? And I'll consult my neighbouring uh, constituencies, their advisors and MPs and say, hey, if I do this, how about let's collaborate on certain things. So we always work as a team. You don't feel alone. And that's what the people in Hong Kong will get they will get the support of the entire PAP uh, if we come in. And I think that this is what they will make the difference because we can, will be able to deliver solid, long-term uh, progress for the residents. So, uh, recently, PM Lee said that opposition wards are on a lower priority in terms of upgrading. You know, what are your views on that? Uh, really, for me, uh, I believe in serving the people. But when it comes to larger schemes, we also want to do things that the residents support. And we do need the people's mandate when it comes to doing things on a larger scale. And I hope that they can give us the support. It is very much like, uh, even in a family, where you want to make certain changes to your house, you will do a poll and ask your family members, do you support the thing? And if they don't support and you do it, then of course that's not something that they want. But now, if they come in and say, that, hey, this is what we want, we believe in you, we think that you can deliver the goods for us, and I think that's the kind of mandate we're looking for. But that's it. I'm always there to serve the people. I'm going to make sure that the poor, um, the old, the underprivileged will be taken care of. And we have already done so. Uh, we're putting actions before our words. Yeah. I mean, but opposition was being put on a lower priority for upgrading. You know, what are your views on that? You will have seen that the whole gang has gotten things like your leaf upgrading. Uh, they will be all done by 2014. Um, some of the blocks will get it earlier than some of the PAP blocks. So we are taking care of the people. So some of the healthcare things that we have done, those are completely new. And those are the things that we develop here by our own Aukang uh, CCC people for the people. And there you see that, we, that that is the age that we have. So are they on the lower priority? No. To me, they're the top of my priority list. Nowhere else you see a health subsidy scheme like this. Nowhere else you see a transport subsidy scheme for needy students like this. So to me, the top of the priority list, and it will be as long as I am in Hong Kong. So now that the PAP manifesto has been you know, unveiled and announced, how does it compare with that of the Workers' Party? Uh, I think the difference that we have is that we believe very much in securing a future, and that is long-term growth. And we back it up by the kind of actions and goods that we have delivered. So it promises a lot about inclusive growth, and we also have the means to make sure that such growth can be achieved. 
I think Workers' Party has laid out uh, what the manifesto is like. We're still waiting for them to tell us how they're going to fund uh, those kind of changes they like to see. But for us, this is not new. We have done a lot, and I think the future is important. We have the means to do so. Our track record speaks for itself. And I hope that uh, voters take a serious look at our manifesto. Uh, is this the future that they want? And if they want, and I believe they will be, they'll be very happy about it, vote for us. How do you feel about you know, quite a number of new candidates being under the age of 35, you, know, yeah. you included? Yeah. Um, of course, uh, every generation uh, must stand up at some point. And every generation needs to have its representative. And that is the kind of role that we hope to be able to do for our Singaporeans, my generation of people. And I think we are a good generation that can bridge the gap. We have the people in the 40s and 50s. We have the younger people in the 20s. So I think us in the 30s, we come in at quite a nice, nice level, a nice timing, because we know what the old values like. And we know what the younger needs are. So we can marry the two, and hopefully we can translate the message across. Do you think your lack of experience you know, is a bit more like a hindrance, you know, an obstacle compared to veteran Lotekia? I think I can never gain enough experience. Um, Mr. Lowe has been there for 20 years. And nobody can uh, say anything bad about that because he has served passionately, he has served hard, he has served well. For me, it's a lot it's about picking up experience on the way and making sure that he has served you 20 years. But for the next 5, the next 10, the next 20, who is it going to be? Give me the opportunity to do so and I will pick the same, same experience and I will enhance it. I will build on what he has done to do even a better job for Hong Kong residents.